Let's now shift our focus to the nation's political realm. The floor leader of the main opposition to the Minju uh, the Minju Party of Korea delivered his address to the National Assembly today. Now there, he vowed to reopen the now suspended inter-Korean joint industrial complex in the North Korean border city of Kaesong. Our Shin Semin has more on what Lee jong had to say. Reopening the Kaesong industrial complex. That's the promise made by the main opposition Minju Party of Korea's floor leader Lee jong during his address to the National Assembly on Wednesday. It was hoped the jointly run Kaesong Industrial Complex could breathe new life into the Korean economy, which had been struggling to find new growth engines. And I vowed to revive the park by enacting a special law. He also promised to restore dialogue and strengthen ties between the two Koreas once the party brings about a sweeping victory in an upcoming general elections in April. Criticizing the Park administration's handling of North Korea issues, he calls for a full-scale reorganization on the foreign affairs, security and unification fronts. He also called on Unification Minister Hong Young-pyo to step down. Hong has been under fire for claiming that 70 percent of the wages made by the North Korean workers at the inter-Korean complex were used to fund the regime's weapons development programs, and backtracking that claim a day after, saying that he did not have the evidence to back up. The opposition party floor leader also called for bipartisan cooperation amid the ongoing security crisis and urged the related ministries to carefully consider the matter of deploying the U.S. missile defense system known as THAAD. He added that South Korea has been able to maintain peace and prosperity without the defense program and said national security should be the main consideration in deployment of such an advanced system. Speaking to the members of the assembly, he also urged that his party is seeking for ruling Senuri Party's cooperation in passing a series of contentious bills. But the odds of that narrow considerably as the ruling party criticized E's remarks, saying that it is politically motivated ahead of the April's general elections. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.